Welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a close look at the re-release of the 350 Yeezy V2s in the blue tint colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we do have eight ton of heat coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store today as mentioned earlier we're going to be talking about the yeezy 350 v2 blue tints again this was a re-release but i know a lot of us were super excited for this it was more limited than most had expected so we're going to go through a talk about the look and overview of the sneaker. I'm going to do some comparisons with some of my other Yeezy 350s that I feel like are close in comparison to color scheme. Then we'll jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I style this, and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. All right, so let's jump right into it. Again, we've got some nice icy looking prime knit on here. We've got some gray intermixed with a lighter gray here hues the writing and script here is backwards and a nice pop of red hue on that stripe as we work our way around we do have a pull tab on this one some nice red stitching on the back of that light gray more of that inner woven light gray in darker charcoal gray in that prime knit region we do have some nice simple white laces we have this really cool kind of aqua marine teal that outlines the collar of the sneaker the insole is a nice simple gray with a nice just pop of red for the adidas yeezy font as we work our down way down to the midsole we've got just that icy translucent color scheme and it does have a bluish hue to it with some cream on the back you'll see that boost popping through on the bottom of the outsole and that will complete the sneaker so let's take a look at those details and then i'm going to pull out some other earlier silhouettes that i think have quite similar color schemes whites and my mono ices so definitely just wanted to hold these up so you can kind of see the variations of how these do have some similar blue hues in it though this one is a bit more gray in the center with more teal hues of blue on it but um, as I look at the laces as well they do actually as opposed to just looking solid white they do hit the light and kind of have a blue effect to it as well all right, so now let's jump into sizing. So I was actually filling the prime net on my cloud whites versus the prime net on these. 
Uh, and I feel like the prime knit is not as loose. It's a bit tighter. So I think honestly, I'm gonna start going up a full size over half a size on these. As you know, I usually recommend going at least half a size up. So I'm usually a seven and a half, I go with an eight, but I think I'm actually gonna start swishing it up and going for eight and a half, just because I feel like I need a bit more space in the toe box region because it is so shallow. All right, now let's jump into styling. So this was a really fun colorway to style just because there's so many teals that are in stores right now. So for the first look, I decided to go with an all teal sweatsuit look from head to toe with a hoodie, sweatpants, and a matching ball cap, which I think really just hit it on the dot with the outer line of the teal color scheme here. with some light denim pants. I had a light blue pea coat. I think that light blues go quite well with this even though it doesn't match it too too much, but I do think variations of blue hues do go well with this. I then layered that with a button down sweater. <laughs> And a final look, I decided to go with a teal blazer and just a more bolder color and a matching long sleeve tee underneath that with some matching
now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these went up in price. These usually go for 220. They are now retailing at 230. So Yeezy has increased their prices on the 350s. These are going between 280 and 350 currently. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button as well as our merch store. This is Shay TV. My name's Marissa Hill. We'll catch you on the next episode. But I don't